today we are in uh, Terry's Kitchen, a very special uh, cafe with a very special chef here. Where are you from actually, Terry? I'm from Sarawak. Uh -huh. Miri, right? From Miri. Okay. So the first one will be the one in front, uh, Alfram, which we call nasi krabu. So I'm very familiar with this dish because I'm a Kelantanese, huh? oi klate, oi klate. So this is one of the famous Kelantan food. I've been looking for a very authentic Kelantan nasi krabu mm. in Melbourne. I can't find it until this guy <laughs> finally come out with a, the closest taste to my hometown nasi krabu. Yeah, I like. Malay food a lot. Okay. Very lucky I met a lady who's a Kelantanese who taught me how to do this dish. And you have to appreciate the dish. Appreciate really. The rice itself. You see blue color. This is not coloring. Okay, the blue. You use a blue pea, blue pea flower. Flower. Butterfly flower. Butterfly power to cook. So you get the aromas. Totally different. The curry set. Curry set it looks like just a small portion there. But you take a long time to stir fry the coconut. The chef might need to come here very early just to do the, the, the prepare the curry set. Uh, the salad, the salted uh, egg, the salted egg, and the kropo, the, the fish, fish cracker. You know, nasi krabu, you have to have all this together. If you miss one, it's like incomplete. A lot of people know how to do nasi krabu. Okay, maybe do good nasi krabu, but not a lot of people, even though back in Malaysia, know how to do a nice. Ayam perci. Ayam perci also is also one of the dish from from Kelantan. Uh, you grill the chicken, chicken, and the most important thing is the gravy. I've seen some ayam perci in Melbourne. Uh, the color itself already disappointed me, so I said no, that is not not ayam perci. This is different ayam perci from the Kelantan one. Until I saw this, the color, the taste, ichipak. First, you take the nasi, okay, then you put the curry set. Then the salad, sambal, okay, a little bit of the salted egg, and when you actually mix the salted egg, make sure you get the yolk is creamy. Pinch of the chicken, mix the salad, sambal, okay, mix it together, <laughs> and this is how you eat nasi kerabu in Malaysia. Enjoy. Oh, heaven. Mmm. Mmm. Basically, the whole mixture with the salad makes it very light, very refreshing. The sambal, that little kick there, plus the ayam perchik and the sauce, the gravy sauce on it, is heaven. Okay? This karabu is, like what Joshua said, yeah. it's as close to what you can get in Malaysia. Yes here in Melbourne. Well, the reason I like coming to Terrace Kitchen is because the food is good. Um, it, it's not available elsewhere generally and it's tasty. Hi, as you can see we have a big crowd here today at uh, Terry's Kitchen and it's a real treat today because we are having soft shell crab in Laksa, Sarawak style. Now for people who haven't tasted Sarawak Laksa or Terry's cooking, it is quite unique because he cooks it with passion. You can actually feel the love in the food. And um, we'll go into this nasi lemak again. A lot of Malaysian restaurant in Melbourne, in Australia, they serve nasi lemak. But why I recommend Terry's Kitchen nasi lemak? Because it's totally different. A lot of people here doing the Malay style sambal. But Terry's Kitchen sambal is more on the Chinese nasi lemak sambal, which is a bit sour. I like it. And with the onion. So you even can get the onion texture. Most important thing for his nasi lemak, is this one the fish asam fish uh, ikan asam this asam you can see the pineapple here and the taste if you are familiar with nyonya uh, curry or asam nyonya this is ex exactly what it tastes like not easy to get i should say i haven't tried the same asam in melbourne before so this is the first time i just want to say what a great cook terry is 
and what a great person he is. And the love, I enjoy the lovely food he prepares for us. I just enjoy com coming here. The atmosphere is beautiful. And all the people are beautiful. And Terry is a lovely, really down to earth, lovely person and a good cook. Hello. Uh, my name is Robert. I've been dining here in Terry's kitchen for the last 18 months and I like his food and I think some of the dishes that Terry's cook is very authentic, very flavoursome Malaysian flavour. And if you guys have not tried uh, Terry Kitchen's food, please do try it. It's lovely. It's very pleasant. And if you're a East Malaysian, he has a special one called Sarawak Laksa, and it's lovely. I really hope that uh, uh, more people will come and try his food and, and appreciate what he prepared. Kalau oi klate, ingat So you can eat the nasi krabu also. Meme Laza. So come here and try because in Kelantanis, I tell you, we miss nasi kerap. So if you can have it here, they will. Meme Laza. Meme Laza. When you come here, enjoy the food, say hello to Terry. Um, he has put a lot of work and a lot of passion into creating all these dishes. So, you know, give him a try. Uh, you will never probably find something like this anywhere else. So, once again, uh, thank you for watching Uncle Buffalo Cari Makan. Thanks, Elfron. Thanks, uh, Terry. And I uh, hope to see you in the next episode. See you. Bye.